Why, hello there. It's Rave 9. I don't blame you if you don't recognize me. I had a late night. I look like hell. First note of business, I'd like to say thank you to Spartan24KJ, not only a personal friend of mine, but also my newest subscriber. And might I say, sir, about damn time. I'm just kidding, Spartan. You know I love you. Give us a kiss. Now that we firmly established our friendship, I feel safe introducing you to this guy. Enter John Tidal Wave. Mmm, enter John Tidal Wave. Oh, uh, you make everything better. Is it even possible to get all of this in one shot? When it comes to characterization, not much. Dude literally just said his name over and over again. Just Tidal Wave, Tidal Wave, Tidal Wave, Tidal Wave, Tidal Wave, Tidal Wave. Tidal wave, tidal wave, tidal wave, tidal wave. I bore myself into a coma. Anyway, where was I? So all this dude knew how to do was say his own name and hulk around like Fort Max. Literally nothing to the guy at all. But he made up for it with his toy. Oh yes, my friends. One of the greatest pieces of art ever molded into plastic. So this being Energon Tidal Wave means he's different from Armada Tidal Wave, right? Well, only in the paint job. Usually going from one incarnation of a show to another in the Unicron trilogy, characters got different vehicle modes. So along comes Energon, and Tidal Wave gets translucent green plastic, and a white paint scheme. And I'm not complaining, because I really think this is his best looking alt mode. Fact number two, this guy is unique among all Transformers for the ability to break up into a separate fleet of vehicles. So what you're seeing now is combined mode. This is all one vehicle, and this is capable of transforming into one robot. Nice. Over a foot long. Like a delicious hoagie of Energon destruction. But let's break him apart and see what he looks like in his dark fleet mode. Cast ye gaze away unless you be unworthy. So I stuck Tidal Wave into David Copperfield's magic box that cuts up ladies into separate pieces, and look what we got. The aft section, some sort of, uh, manta ray, I guess. I really don't know what this is. Looks nice. It's also a fleet carrier for minicons. I think this is supposed to be like a troop carrier. Like one of those boats that carried soldiers onto the beaches of Normandy. It's that or this is the luxury liner section of Tidal Wave. I'm more inclined to believe luxury liner. I mean, he's got gold carpeting in there. Pretty schwank. Then comes the midsection, which comes with the... Tidal Wave. Then comes the midsection, which has got the weapons. And a really nice deck. This really helps to show the scale of Tidal Wave. Look at that. That's the control tower right there. Right there. And it's pretty detailed. Then finally we get this piece, which is the landing deck for a battleship. Really nice. Look at the scale on this. That's another control tower right there. Now I know you saw this part right here and were wondering, what the hell is that, Rave? Well, I'm about to tell you. Just like any good battleship that has a working elevator, Tidal Wave also comes with a working elevator for his Minicon partner. He may be a holdover from Armada into Energon, but he still retains his Minicon partner Ramjet. So taking a moment to talk about little Ramjet here. I don't know what to call this folded up mode. I mean, they give every other weird backwards mode a name. Which we call this. Eraser mode? Yoga mode? Box mode? Anyway, the point is you need to fold up Ramjet like this to store him into Tidal Wave. Headmaster mode? So Ramjet in his vehicle mode looks nothing like G1 Ramjet. He's just the character in name only. He actually looks more like Thunderwing, I think. The details are almost the same. And I think that's the same vehicle mode. Hmm? Maybe it is Thunderwing. I don't know, I kind of feel sorry for this guy. Have you seen this poor bastard's robot mode? Uh, he's got a monoleg. Life is pain. So all of these three different sections or Tidal Wave's Dark Fleet mode, and I absolutely love it! This is why I'm so passionate about this toy. It has that ability to break up into separate vehicles and still form a giant robot, like Energon Omega Supreme or Omega Sentinel, or G1 Overlord, who I absolutely think this guy would make a great BotCon mold of. Just the playability is so diverse with the Dark Fleet and the ability to combine it into one giant fleet vehicle. Observe.
combined, one massive, giant Decepticon badass. I don't care if he's meant to be some sort of battleship out on the sea. This dude looks space-worthy also. He has the size, the length, the shape. This dude can fly through the stars, and I'm pretty much convinced, go through Unicron's eye. He could do that. He could just fly into Unicron's eye while Unicron's shooting fire at him, and he would just shake it off and go, turn wave. Now, if there's one thing I can complain about, it's this. There are too many Minicon ports on this guy. Too many. Too many. Oh, my God. Too many. Look, right there in the landing deck. Minicon ports. Right there in the control tower. Minicon ports. Right there in the aft section. Minicon ports. In the cartoon, Minicon ports were supposed to increase the power of the Transformer or unlock some special feature. You know what these do? Nothing. You just add them like charms to Tidal Wave, which really doesn't help his case, especially in Energon or Cybertron when he turned into Mirage. And he was a little loopy for Megatron. Yeah. Not helping. Not helping. These don't do anything. Ramjet, when combined with Tidal Wave, has exactly one function. You've seen the bit where he rides up on the elevator, but the actual use for him is right here on the midsection. This middle peg with all the guns is where you're supposed to put Ramjet to activate the Minicon feature. Like so. And what does it do? Moves Tidal Wave's guns. I actually do like that. I like it a lot. Anyway, that one sore point of contention behind us. At least it doesn't detract away from Tidal Wave's bot mode, which I happen to have right here. Oh, God. You love him and fear him, don't you? Yes, you do. Sorry about that, folks. I literally got distracted for about 12 hours. Or maybe this just happened. Anyway, like I was saying, Tidal Wave is just the solid foot of complete awesomeness in bot mode. It's hard to stay mad at him for any of his flaws. Sure, the Minicon ports look absolutely ridiculous and they stick out like you wouldn't believe. And yeah, the missile launchers are now under his arms and you can't turn them to fire at all. And he really has no weapons besides those missile launchers, so... That kind of sucks, but he's a massive hulking robot. I mean, all he needs is his size. I can give him this, though. I mean, with Ramjet plugged in, kind of does look like a nice piece of armor. See? Armor. That actually has a nice little aesthetic touch to it, don't you think? What do you think, Tidal Wave? Tidal Wave. Uh, I could have said it better myself, buddy. Tidal Wave really has it all, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, it has its drawbacks. What doesn't? But it just comes together so well that it just makes you forget everything about it that is bad. I am forgotten, yet I cannot die. But really, if I haven't convinced you now, I don't think I ever will. Tidal Wave is superior. He is worth it. Every last penny you invest in this guy will be well invested. Tidal Wave! Well said, my gigantic friend. Well said. Maybe one day forgiveness could be bestowed on me in the form of two legs.